This is the second part of the breakdown that I'm doing after a Tony Robbins event that I went to called uh, UPW, Unleash the Power Within. And um, if you haven't heard the first episode, go back to the previous episode. It talks about day one and day two. And today I'm going to talk about my takeaways from day three and day four, which were Transformation Day and Vitality and Wellness Day. All right, everybody, I am back with day three and day four of this event. I hope you enjoyed day one, day two. It's actually really helpful for me to sit down and put together all of the notes and takeaways and things like that that I got. So I got a ton out of just preparing for this, and I spent a couple hours preparing for each of these two episodes. So yesterday, I think going through this, some of the biggest for the previous episode that I did for day one and day two was what would you do if you couldn't fail? What would you do if you didn't have some of those beliefs and you were able to shift those? Um, how would you show up differently? That kind of carries over into day three. Day three is transformation day there, so you come in, Tony's in there for the majority of the day working through a lot of the belief struggles, continuing down that limiting belief journey and taking you through some, like going a little bit deeper in there, trying to remove some of the stuff. But he started the day with uh, standards. And I thought this was interesting because he talks about standards. And I bet if you think like, think about like what your standards are, like what do you accept, right? For yourself, others, people around you, all that stuff. You probably think they're somewhat high. And I, I thought mine were pretty high too. In the beginning, he said, your body is a result of your ritual. So the rituals of your body is the result that you have. An example, uh, body, mind, a bank account, all of these things we went through as kind of the rituals that you accept in these standards. So he said, your finances are not the result of your talents and skills in that area and everything like that. It's a result of your standards. If you think about it, some want enough money just to be comfortable, right? So if you said, hey, you know what? I want to build this business and I want enough money to be able to pay my bills and just live on that. That's usually what you create, right? You'll create a business that'll be good enough and make enough that will pay your bills. You might say, I want to build a business that allows me to have an extra $5,000 of discretionary money per month to go on vacation or save up for a trip or do these kind of things that I want to do. And that's what your business will provide. What you're asking and the standards that you're setting for your business, for your life, for your relationship with your spouse, for your family, all these things is a result of your standards that you're setting and kind of what you're putting out there in the vision that you cast for yourself. So if you increase your standards, you're going to increase the output. He gave an example of Michael Jordan and he said, Michael Jordan is not competing with anyone when he when he talked to him, he said, I'm not competing with anybody. I'm competing with who I can be tomorrow. And that was very interesting to me. We always are comparing ourselves to other people, to other things, what we have, what we want, what we don't have, all these things. So increase our standards. Then he talked about kind of like, okay, how do we take that next step? Next step? Like, what is it in us and how do we achieve a level of mastery? So this day also talked about mastery. He gave three steps to this of, of how you can really achieve mastery in life and business. And as you increase your standards, the next step that you take. These three things were starting with immersion, real true immersion, and not just once, but a couple times a year, theoretically. So, so we just came off of Flip Hacking Live. And I think about Flip Hacking Live as a total immersive experience, right? It's three days. It was down in Orlando and it was immersion in real estate with people who were achieving at a very high level who were outstanding. They show up and they're immersed in this environment of real estate investing, tactics, strategies, all this stuff, right? Other people doing things, success stories, like uh, motivation, they're immersed in it, right? If you think about speaking a foreign language, like the best way to go is just like go live in Spain for a year and just be immersed in the language. You will start learning it. You'll start picking it up. You, it, will, it will start becoming what you need. Like It'll start becoming you. So they come to Flip Hacking Live, right? And then you leave. And it's a challenge once you leave. You go back to your life. You go back to people who might not understand what you want to do and where you want to be. And so you need to be immersed in that is, is the first thing, like truly immersed in it, right? And then the second one, he says, is to get coaching in between. So, because in between, you need that accountability. You need those coaches that have the skill set, that have the mastery to be able to see where you're off and need to change by just a couple millimeters. He said, most people will go, uh, go into immersion, like I just did for four days at his event, right? It's easy, it's easy to make those changes. It's easy to make those decisions. It's easy to come up with a plan when you're in that state, in that immersion environment. Same thing, I had you guys write down where you're gonna be 12 months uh, from now, what you wanna do, all of your goals at Flip Hacking Live, and it's easy there. But now you get back to real life, right? It's been a couple weeks, it's been a month now. And you're like, okay, well, I haven't done some of the things that I need to do because you don't have accountability and you don't have a coach and you don't have somebody that's pushing you, right? And that's the next step, get coaching in between. And then the third thing that he said, is daily practices that support what you want to do and where you want to go. Daily practices that you're showing up 
and you have, you're, you're executing and exercising some of that. He also mentioned if you get in your head, you're dead. Your head is where all your fears are. You need to get in your heart. Your heart is where the answers are. And that's where you're going to have this, like when you get into immersion, you get into coaching, you get into daily practices, like your heart is gonna drive you. Your head is gonna tell you that you can't. Your brain is wired and triggered to say no. It's just a default no. We talked about that at Flip Hacking Live during my success presentation. You probably listened to it on the podcast. Your, your head is defaulted to no. Your heart is defaulted to to joy, to fulfillment, to all the things, it will guide you in the right direction. Then he moved on to talk about how schooling and education are very different things. I think a lot of you guys, if you're listening to this, you're into personal development and, and growth and all of these things, you kind of understand that. Schooling and education, like going to get an education at Harvard or Stanford or for me, Georgia Tech, I have a bachelor's degree and a master's degree and then I went to test pilot school, did all this stuff, like that's fine, but you gotta go to school. You gotta go to school on business and life and all these things. And that's what was cool about this event is I feel like he was taking me to school in a couple areas that I needed to hear. It, it, very different things. So think about that. Like you can go out and educate yourself all you want. You might be listening to this podcast for years. You're educating yourself. Uh, you're watching videos. But to get schooled is really to go to school. Like go hit the street. Go make offers. Go take action. Go do these things. And immerse yourself. Get some coaching. And then daily habits and rituals. Change your rituals. Change your standards. We don't get what we want. We get what we tolerate. That goes back to the standards idea. You know, I see it in, in business all the time. We let our staff and our employees and, and people like that show up and whatever we tolerate is what we get. You gotta change your standards with them and with yourself. The interesting, we talked about beliefs a little bit and then he, he mentioned three beliefs that we have that are stuck in us about every problem that come up. And I think that hopefully this will help you get past these beliefs very easy. The number one is that the problem is permanent. So we always think when we have a problem like it's permanent and that's what kind of sticks us and holds us back or makes us put that problem up a little bit higher than it probably is in our world. It's, it's permanent, it's not permanent, it's temporary. Problems affect everything in our life. Like they're gonna affect us all and we let it. We let them affect us all. Our problems at work, we bring them home, don't we? Our problems at home, we bring them to work. They, they affect, we let them affect every aspect of our life. And then we all, we think it's personal. The third one is we think it's personal. So something's wrong with me. The reason I have this problem is because I'm broken. Something was wrong with me. I did something wrong. And so that's, that's an issue that we have that we run into is thinking it's personal. So if we get past some of those things, those three beliefs about our problems, I think we can, uh, we can get to the next level. So if you, you realize it's not permanent, it's temporary. Uh, this problem, you, you really have to separate it and section it off and don't let it affect your heart. Don't let it affect how you show up, don't let it affect your, your energy inside of you. And then it's not personal, you know, it's not personal. So the theme of the day to me was this Jim Rohn quote that we kept coming back to with success leaves clues, right? You see people that are successful in business, successful in life, and you know that they'll be successful again, right? They, they are repeatedly successful over and over in different industries and the things that they do in their life. They can launch something very quickly and be successful. And you look at them and you go, why is that person always successful? I feel like I'm not successful. Why are they successful in everything that they do? They have something that I don't. They have absolute certainty. They have high standards. They use those three things, immersion, coaching, daily practices and rituals. That's what they do. And I can tell you success does leave clues. If I can follow somebody's success recipe, I can replicate what they do. If I have absolute certainty, if I know where I'm going, if I'm dedicated, I'm in my heart and I'm driving in that direction. So we talked about mastery and he said, what is the, what is the way to mastery? I mean, this could be an entire podcast in and of itself from day three. So the fastest way to mastery is modeling. Find someone who's outstanding, and if they are successful consistently, go model them. It's that simple, like it's that simple. I did it with Andy McFarland, Justin Williams. I modeled them and create a successful business. And then you must learn through total immersion, schedule it in, seminars, events, things like that. That's why every quarter we have an immersive event with our mastermind group, altitude group, runway group. Every quarter we have some immersion event. We don't just leave Flip Hacking Live and say, see you next year. Every 90 days we have an immersion event because we know we can hold them accountable for those 90 days and then we need to immerse them again in relationships, in networking, in, in knowledge, information, immerse them back in real estate and get them back on track. It might just be that two millimeter shift that they need, right? And then spaced repetition, spaced repetition. He said, if you're committed to achieving the level of lasting results you desire and deserve in your life, you need a proven game plan, outstanding coaching, coaching and an immersion experience that will compress decades into days. So that was day three. Whew. All right, day four. Day four is Vitality and Wellness Day, which I really, really enjoyed. It was actually one of my favorite days, probably my most favorite day. I think because a lot of where I am in, in life right now, I think a lot of the limiting beliefs that I have aren't necessarily holding me back. They're kind of surface level that I know that I can crush and I could work through and they weren't as deep as some of the other folks for that transformation day on day three. A lot of ahas, but this day was about um, your body, your health, things like that. Like, what are you doing um, about that and how important it is to take care of yourself? And then we had a couple of guest speakers and the guest speakers this day, I really loved. It was, they were amazing. Um, Nick Santanastasio, it's a difficult last name to say. He's a very motivational speaker. I've heard him before. The, the couple things that I want to share with you that he said is, if you change the way that you think from I have to 
to I get to, you'll change the way that you show up. So instead of saying like, I have to go to work, I have to go to the gym, I have to eat healthy, and you change it to I get to, it changes everything in the way you show up. So I get to go to work today. Uh, if you if you check him out on YouTube, he's got uh, he's got one arm and no legs, and he was born uh, this way. And so one thing that he shared was he's like, you you get to walk to work. I don't. You get to go to the gym. You get to go to a supermarket and shop and buy whatever you want because you have money because you have supermarkets. Think about all the people that don't. And if instead you say I have to do this, and we we are trained. I think Americans we are trained to say I have to. I have to, gosh, I have so much stuff that I have to do today. Is that your like, regular quote? I have too much to do today. Instead of, ah, I'm so blessed because I get to do all these things today. If you change that, you will change everything. The next speaker that I want to talk about, and I think it's the last one that I have, um, she was unbelievable, like absolutely amazing. And I'll close with her with her presentation and some of the takeaways that I had. Her name is Jamie Kern Lima. She started a cosmetic brand, so she was, a, she was like a broadcaster on TV. Uh, news news anchor on TV and started a cosmetic line in her house and eventually sold it for 1.2 billion dollars to L'Oreal, uh, 1.2 billion with a B. And you can look on the outside and see the success. That's all that how great that was, but you don't see all the no's. And that's what her presentation was: the hundreds and hundreds of no's that she got over and over and over again. I'm gonna I'm gonna share a couple takeaways with you from hers. I can't I can't do it justice. I really can't without. I have I probably have 15 pages of notes from hers. She said that. There was a point in her journey that she changed her belief to where I come from doesn't determine where I'm going. And I think a lot of you guys might be there. Where I come from, maybe where I grew up, I, we didn't have money or, or I'm just a waitress or I'm a stay-at-home mom or I've never made more than $50,000 a year or whatever that is. But you want more, you're called to do more. Where you come from doesn't determine where you're going. It, that's probably one of the limiting beliefs that's truly holding you back from how great you can become. And so it was, it was really amazing. She said, how many of you are talking yourselves out of who you were born to be? How many of you out there listening right now are talking yourselves out of who you were born to be? Like, I can't do this. It's not me. It's not me. But you keep being called. You keep coming back. You keep going. You keep coming to Flip Hacking Live. You keep listening to the podcast. You keep coming to our virtual events. And you're like, I am called to do this. And something's holding you back. You're talking yourselves out of it. The greatest thing she did was believe that she could do it. And I'm telling you, that's what I want to give to you right now on this podcast today. I want to end it with that. I want to tell you that everything that you need is inside of you right now. You just might need somebody to help pull it out of it. I, after her podcast or after her um, presentation, I wrote this down and I'm going to end with this. It's in red. I read it on the way home. I just wrote it. I don't know where it came from, uh, but this was what I heard after that. And I don't know what you heard. I'd say pause it right now and write down right after that. What's inside of you? Are you hiding in plain sight? What do you need to do? I said, I have this insane calling to do more, be more, continue to grow and inspire as many other people that I possibly can speak on more stages, have a bigger event, have bigger impact in the world. I said, I want to be more. I want to show them. I want to show you how you can be more than you ever thought that you could. And right then, I wrote all this, and I don't know how we're going to do that. I don't know what it looks like, but I'm telling you, I, that's my calling. I have this insane calling that I will never stop. I don't know where it's coming from, and I don't care. I'm going. And I'll tell you, Foot Packing Live next year will be bigger than it was before. We will continue to inspire people on this podcast. We'll continue to inspire people with our events, and we'll continue to push you and build the best mastermind and training organization for real estate investors in the world. That's my promise to you guys. Take a minute and figure out what that means to you. What is your calling? Are you hiding in plain sight? What's your God-sized calling and why aren't you? Why aren't you answering the call? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.